you take a look at these bacteria, tiny but essential threads of life, imagine reflecting each one as if in a mirror. Sounds like science fiction, right? Yet some researchers are exploring exactly that, and others are sounding the alarm. Today, we'll dive into the world of mirror image bacteria. We'll see where this idea comes from, why some scientists are calling for a ban on these experiments, and whether the risks might overshadow the potential gains. Before we focus on the issue of mirror bacteria, we need to trace the origins of this concept. Before 1850, Jean-Baptiste Biot offered the first clues by studying polarized light. In 1848, Louis Pasteur revealed molecular asymmetry, planting the seed of chirality. By the mid-19th century, he showed how chiral molecules twist light itself. Then in 1874, Van Hoff and Lebel gave us 3D molecular structures. Moving into the early 1900s, Fischer, Rosanoff, and Haworth shaped modern stereochemistry, while the 1950s and 60s linked chirality to DNA. Fast forward to the 2010 labs tested mirror bacteria concepts and, in 2024, the global science community weighs the possibility of true mirror life. Chirality is simply the property of having a handedness, like a left glove that just won't fit a right hand. If a molecule is chiral, its mirror image is distinct, you can't rotate or flip it in 3D space to make the two forms overlap perfectly. In biology, this matters a great deal. Enzymes, viruses, and antibodies often rely on a precise shape to bind with target molecules. Think of it as matching puzzle pieces. Reverse that shape, and suddenly the puzzle pieces no longer connect. Mirrored bacteria, or mirror image microbes, take the concept of chirality one step further. Instead of using the usual left-handed amino acids, they would be built from the right-handed versions, D amino acids instead of L, and so on. The result? A bacterium that looks familiar but is made of reversed molecular building blocks, making it effectively invisible to viruses and enzymes designed to attack the standard version. All right, now let's focus on the arguments of those who claim that research on mirrored bacteria is crucial for scientific development. One of the most compelling reasons to pursue mirrored bacteria lies in their potential for medical breakthroughs. By reversing their molecular handedness, these organisms could become resistant to typical viruses and enzymes, offering a new weapon against drug-resistant pathogens, one of the biggest threats in modern healthcare. In the realm of biotechnology, mirror form enzymes or proteins might prove exceptionally stable under extreme temperatures or pH conditions, opening doors for more efficient industrial processes like chemical synthesis or waste treatment. And from an astrobiological perspective, Experimenting with reverse life on Earth could help us anticipate, or even recognize, life that evolves with opposite chirality on other planets. Supporters of mirrored microbes emphasize that, under strict containment and ethical oversight, such research could spark unprecedented scientific and technological advances. For several years, scientists across various fields have been sounding the alarm toward those conducting or planning to conduct mirrored bacteria research. Why, let's find out now. Others see a slippery slope. They argue that if mirrored bacteria escaped, they might evade natural checks like viruses or predatory microbes, leading to unpredictable ecological impacts and possibly a runaway effect no one can contain. Another concern is biosecurity, because a reverse chirality pathogen might be immune to our standard antibiotics, posing a grave threat if weaponized and potentially outmaneuvering our existing defenses. Some also worry about ethical boundaries, believing we are tampering with the essential blueprint of life on Earth and calling for strict caution before any large-scale experiments proceed. To these critics, it is not just about science, it is about whether we should alter life's fundamental rulebook without fully understanding the potential repercussions. In reality, many experts argue for a middle ground, continue controlled research, but impose strict regulations to prevent accidental releases. This echoes earlier biotech debates, 
like the Asilomar Conference in the 1970s, where scientists set guidelines for genetic engineering. Meanwhile, appeals to ban mirrored bacteria altogether, such as the statement published in Science, show how serious these concerns have become. Ultimately, the question isn't only can we, but should we? As we peer into the microcosmos, we see that even the smallest shift a reversed amino acid can ripple into massive ethical and ecological discussions. Mirrored bacteria represent a crossroads where uncharted scientific possibility meets global responsibility. Let us know in the comments, should we pursue these experiments under strict rules or halt them entirely? If you found this exploration useful, please like, subscribe, and share. Together we can keep uncovering the wonders and the dilemmas hidden in every droplet of life. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay curious.